friends in this video i'm going to show you how to measure the internal resistance of this battery this is the battery of the nokia phone with the help of multimeter and uh, with the help of uh, some calculation we can easily find the internal resistance of the battery so what we need for this experiment are uh, this multimeter one battery of which you want to measure the resistance and one fixed resistor it is very important part to how to select the fixed resistor to select the fixed resistor first of all you need to measure the voltage of the battery to measure the voltage of the battery you need a multimeter so put the range switch to the DC voltage and uh, I had already set the range switch in the DC voltage range at 20 volt. Now I take this two probe, one is black and one is red. I had put the I had put the red probe in the voltage ohm milliampere socket and the black probe to the common socket. As I touch the positive terminal of the battery as I touch the positive terminal of the battery with the red probe and the negative terminal of the battery with the black probe in the multimeter it is showing that uh, the measurement or the voltage is let me connect it correctly it is showing 4.08 so this is the voltage that this battery have right now now as the voltage of the battery is 4 volt that's why that's why the value of the fixed resistor should be in the range so that as we connected this uh, fixed resistor with the battery the resistor will not burn out we have to keep this point in mind while selecting the resistor so we need these three things one multimeter one battery of which we want to measure the internal resistance and a multimeter so this is the circuit diagram we have to connect this resistor in series with the battery so here the vs is the source voltage as we get the source voltage as 4.08 and RS is the source resistance, so the value of the resistance that we want to calculate. And here the RL is the load resistance. This is the value of the resistor. We have to measure the value of the resistor. And VL is the load voltage that will we will measure across the load resistance which is RL. So how we can get the internal resistance of the battery as I had already told you we had you have to first know about the source voltage of this battery which is 4.08 I had already measured it. Now I have to measure the value of the, this resistor so I have to put this range switch in resistance mode and then uh, it is showing 222 ohm so this is the value of this resistor and I am going to connect uh, this resistor as shown in this uh, circuit diagram I have to connect this resistor with this battery in series so this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and uh, I know that resistor have no sign convention to connect it so I connect the resistor across it as I connected the resistor as you see as I connected the resistor with series to this voltage source as shown in the circuit diagram now I have to measure the 
the voltage drop across this resistance so i have to put the range switch in the voltage range and then measure the voltage drop across it it is showing 4.07 put the values of the voltage source as 4.08 volt as i get from the uh, experiment rs we need to calculate the source resistance the value of the load resistance is 220 ohm and the voltage across the load resistance is 4.07 so with the help of the voltage division rule we can easily calculate the source resistance of the battery so we have to put all the values that we have get from the experiment in this formula so let's put it so vl is the load voltage that we measure across the load resistance which is 4.07 i had put 4.07 here so the rl is the load resistance value which is 220 ohm so i put 220 ohm here and the rl plus rs rl that is 220 ohm and so the rs is the value that we have to calculate that's why i put x in the place of rs and the vs is the source voltage which is 4.08 so by the cross multiplication we get 220 plus x equal to 220 into 1.002 and by multiplying this we get 220.54 and by subtracting it we get the value of the internal resistance of the battery which is 0 0.540 ohm so this is the value of the internal resistance of this Nokia battery so thank you so much if you like my videos then like it if you have some confusion then comment down below and if you want to share this video then share it thank you so much